All right, take two. <laughs> What's going on? Conversation about the smart plug by Eve. Before we go any further, if you're an Android user, an Alexa, Google ecosystem, this isn't going to apply. In order to have this, you need to have either an iPhone or an Apple device so that you can integrate this into that ecosystem. However, we are in a cost of living crisis. The theory here can still apply in regards to smart plugs in general, right? What's a good way to save some energy? Using smart plugs is a great way to track the energy that you're using as it can show you your pound amount spent and how much each appliance or device that you've plugged into it is actually using. With smart plugs, set something up called automations. You can set a smart plug to turn on or off based on your location. So when you get home, it will turn the plug on. When you leave your house, it will turn the plug off to save you some money, right? Sleep, 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 sleep sometimes. Blare it in your Jeep so your peeps can stare at the rhymes. Real rhymes, not your everyday right. hologram. Sorry. Even when you're just touching <laughs> Run out of space on the hand. SSD. So, anyway, I've got to keep this short because we don't have a lot of time. So, the app. The app is great. Let me get a quick recording here. Um, some of the features that the app can do, the app on iOS will not only show you all the other smart devices that you own in your house, um, such as cameras and lights. It will also show you obviously the plugs as well and with the plugs you'll then also be able to see um just exactly it gives you like a little bit of a breakdown here right so going from top to bottom you can turn it on and off from the actual eve app or obviously within the home kit app itself um you can actually set schedules directly in the app um it tells you the consumption um, and it also tells you the projected cost over a period of time so for instance by year um, it can tell you based on the last minute, day or week. It can give you the total consumption since you've earned it, for instance. And it can also give you the total cost as well in a diagram format so um, or in a chart format, which is really that good. If you want to get into that in-depth information, this app will allow you to do so. Then you can also set automation directly in the app. I like the way the app looks and feels um, and its integration with HomeKit. So you can set all of these things in the Eve app and then take that over to the home app, yeah? So, um, when it works, it works well. These have been reliable. I have had an instance, I've got multiple of these plugs. Um, I've had an instance where one of them has stopped working, whether it's an issue with firmware, hang on, let me get this focus back in again. Um, yeah, whether it's an issue with firmware or something else, I've reached out to their support, but it's out of warranty. There's not much that can be done. <laughs> um, and yeah, the issue is it actually still works. So for instance, I've currently got one plugged in to an extension lead and I can plug my device into this. It will, this will still provide power so it can, you know, my device can still turn on, but I cannot control it with my smartphone or smart device. The other thing on here, there's a light on, on here. Yeah, when you press this light, it goes green to show that it's on. It will flash if it needs an update, but when it's off, the light will remain off. This light is also a physical button, so you can turn it on and off directly by clicking on here rather than having to use an app, yeah? Um, yeah, but my issue I've experienced is that the light remains on and I cannot turn it off, turn it off either from the smart device or physically using this button but it still works as a plug. So I'm still able to use it, but it's just basically made the smart features redundant. I can't see no fix. I can't see any fix online through the forums or on their website. Um, but granted, I've had it a couple of years, yeah? But the rest are all good. Um, HomeKit integration, nice, we spoke about that. Um, I like the way that it actually looks, like the, 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 the design of the, the aesthetics of this is uh, really nice. It's, it's white, you know, which matches with the majority here of extension uh, plugs that I've got around the house. Um, so yeah, it looks nice, which I like as well. Um, now, cons. It's only HomeKit compatible. It would be great if this was universal because then you could buy this and use it across any, um, you know, um, you could use it across any um, ecosystem. So I could integrate this with Google, Alexa. Given the price for this thing, it's quite expensive. 
Um, I think they're like £40 a pop when they first came out. Might have even been forty nine ninety nine a pop. Which, if you compare that to the likes of, like, I think, TP Link and others on Amazon, you can pick up a smart plug now for about 10 quid. This is still on the market at around a £30 mark, I believe. So this is very expensive for what it is. But, you know, is what it is. Um, now, the other thing is... Um, Sometimes I've had issues where in HomeKit you'll go to turn this thing on and off and it takes a while or it doesn't really doesn't really respond. But that could be due to many of things, your internet connection, ensuring that the firmware is up to date. When it comes to smart products in general like this around the house, you need to actually most of the time the home app can take care of updating generally, but you'd need to go into the actual third party's application such as Eve or anything else for that matter, and check for firmware updates just to make sure that your smart products are being kept up to date and working nice and smoothly, yeah? Um, the other con about this is that its physical size is quite bulky. So, yeah, like, you know, this thing is quite large. So looking at it from here, right, um, you can see that this area here is very large. So if I put this in an extension cable, I can't plug anything next to it on either side because this kind of overlaps so this is best to be plugged directly into the wall or just ensure that, you know, you've got enough space to accommodate what you need to. That is it. Thank you. <laughs> Love, peace, blessing. I'll see you next week.